What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we're gonna check out Guerrero Family calls Dominic disrespectful. WWE 2K23 gameplay, WWE star in Impact, and other wrestling news. This is a interesting one. We know Dominic, per storyline wise, has been you know pretty much, I guess you could say, mocking Eddie Guerrero the whole uh poppy thing with Rhea Ripley, and you know. On the surface, you would think that uh, maybe the situation wasn't, you know, that bad. Maybe, you know, they got approval from the family. Uh, but apparently, that may not be the situation. So, we're going to check this out, see what's going on with that. Appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on the channel. Let's do the damn thing. Lamia here, back with another video. Join us now as we look at the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know, including real-life heat on Dominic Mysterio from the Guerrero family. It's over for Sami Zayn, Cody Rhodes' long-lost sister, 2K releases WWE 2K23 gameplay, and much more. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification. I know about the Cody long-lost sister thing. I, I saw that on Twitter. That was actually pretty hilarious. Station bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out our new channel, WrestleMania Shorts. And now let's do the intro and get straight into our first story. First story looks at it's over for Sami Zayn. Yep. The top of today's news is a sad report from the former honorary U Sami Zayn, as it's clear he's still dealing with being kicked out of the group after refusing to end Kevin Owens' career at the Royal Rumble. Sami oh, tweeted yeah, a photo that. of memorabilia <laughs> from his heyday in the bloodline. The picture shows memorabilia of him in the bloodline, even signed yeah. photos, not to mention the Survivor Series War Games chair. Sami also showed off new merchandise, mm -hmm. which has a silver tape over the name Uso. He's not Sami Uso anymore, he's just back to Sami Zayn. The Sami storyline with the bloodline is far from over, as rumor has it he's scheduled to face Roman Reigns at the upcoming Elimination Chamber Ooh. PLE. Next up, The Undertaker talks letting fans... Yeah, <clears throat> I know a lot of us were speculating maybe he wins the Elimination Chamber, but they reserved that for the United States Championship this year, so looks like they're setting that match up. Sami's not winning. <clears throat> I think it would be cool. To call that audible but they're saving this for obviously i guess cody rhodes cody rhodes want he called him out for both championships so sammy's not winning you would think that would be the perfect moment since it's going to be in sammy's backyard but he's not winning that match it'll be interesting to see what they do but it looks like they may be going with the route of them going for the tag team titles uh him and uh sammy and kevin Owens. so we'll see but i do think Maybe them pulling an audible at some point with Sammy before WrestleMania could be the way to go. That's just my opinion. It's down at a show. At the Undertaker's in-ring career is over, but Mark Calloway, the man who made the character so famous, is starting a second career entertaining fans with live shows where he discusses his storied career. While Taker says many of the shows have been successful, he discussed one show that flopped. Speaking with Sports Illustrated, the phenom revealed that while the first four shows in Boston were hit, he felt the fifth was not. I went too long in the beginning. Part of the show dragged on too long. The first few shows almost came too easy. I wasn't happy with parts of this one. Taker explained what he tried to deliver to his audience when he performs. I'm trying to give people the layers and stages of my life that brought me to where I am now. It's a very limited audience and I want to make it special. I want people to leave being blown away. I want to make people think I want them to believe in themselves. I want to entertain but also use my experience to show that anything is possible. My story exemplifies that. I was told at every turn I wasn't good enough. Yet mm. look at the final product. Hopefully that gives people inspiration to battle through in their own lives. This is very like true. is working to learn from what leads to a successful show and what makes a show less appealing. Have you guys seen The Undertaker Show? Let us know in the comments down below. I would not uh, have a problem checking out his, like his, his telling of his career, his story, and what he went through in person, I think that would be a pretty cool experience, in my personal opinion. Next up, 2K releases WWE 2K23 gameplay trailer. As big news for gamers as 2K tweeted a gameplay trailer for 2K23 with this caption. It's time for you to elevate your game to the next level, step into the ring and come out even stronger. The one minute trailer provides plenty of peeks at the upcoming console game, including appearances by legends such as Randy Savage, Hulk Hogan, and look at how the War Games match looks in 2K23 and more. What's funny that in the trailer, Sami Zayn's hair looks black at one point. Hmm. Obviously this must have been a texture glitch, some fans are pointing out that the hair might appear darker when it's slicked back and wet. 
that would be an awesome new feature. The trailer also shows the new War Games cage, which looks absolutely fantastic. Mm -hmm. The trailer ends for a pre-order and pre-orders featuring a playable Bad match. Bunny character and a Bad Bunny Ruby Definitely faction card. Definitely in the card. game for sure. Are you guys getting 2K23? Mm -hmm. Let us know in the comments down no, below. Next up, the Guerrero family upset with oh, Dominic Mysterio in this over one comparisons right here, this to story. Eddie Guerrero. It looks like Dominic Mysterio's resemblance to Eddie Guerrero's Latino Heat character is getting some real-life heat from members of the Guerrero family. Fans have posted pictures of Dominic dressed like the late, great Eddie Guerrero, remarking how he and Dominic look like twins or father and son. Eddie's widow, Vicky Guerrero, commented about this on Facebook. I'm tired of hearing Dominic compared to Eddie. He will never be Eddie in any way, shape, or form. It's plain disrespectful. Hmm. Eddie's daughter, Shaul, isn't happy either, stating it's seriously stupid. And this has got to stop. It's bullshit. Do you think Vicky and Shaul should be upset with the gimmick? After all, isn't the gimmick supposed to get heat? Looks like it's doing its job. And that's the thing. And, and that that is the thing about this whole situation is I'm thinking maybe they, you know, maybe shouldn't they know this is this is what gets is getting him mega heat right now. He's one of the biggest heels in WWE and damn near one of the biggest heels in wrestling in the sense of how many people just despise him for what he's doing with this gimmick. I think it's working perfectly, honestly. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. I don't know how, you know, why they would feel as upset, considering that obviously I'm sure he doesn't feel like that, you know, behind the scenes. I'm sure he has a lot of respect for Eddie Guerrero, you know, so. Next up, Dominic praises Eddie Guerrero for all he did for him. Now, while Vicky and Shoal Guerrero are upset with fans comparing Dominic to Eddie, Dominic appreciates everything Eddie did for which him. I, Dominic I was recently interviewed by Wrestling Inc. and he praised Eddie Guerrero for inspiring him to become a wrestler. He even recalled the angle where Eddie claimed to be Dominic's biological dad, that. leading to a ladder match at SummerSlam for the custody of Dominic. That was a Dominic crazy said time. he wasn't sure at the time what would happen, but he wouldn't have minded having to live with Eddie. Dominic's love and respect for Latino was obvious as he recalled working in the custody storyline. Knowing that I was a part of that and I got to work with him, that's such a blessing, man. He's one, if not the best, to ever do it. And mm -hmm. I got to work with him as a kid. And that's something that now as a wrestler, it's something that I have a passion for. It means so much more now that we had with him in the ring. I'll cherish those forever because he's one of the best. And I would have loved to pick his brain or be in the ring with him today. The fact that I even had a chance to be in the ring with him back then as a kid is a blessing. And I'm very thankful. Which I figured you'd you probably think of feel Dominic's like that. Comments? Let us know in the comments down below. I'm, it, it just makes sense. I'm sure he obviously he's healing it up for, you know, television purposes. But I'm pretty sure he, you know, he definitely, um, he, he, he appreciates what, uh, Eddie has done for the industry what he's done for him as well so I don't know if they should be mad about that or maybe this is a complete work they're probably staying in character who knows but I don't think they should be as mad about that next up big praise for Chad Gable and Otis a former superstar the road dog is praising current Raw superstars Chad Gable and Otis for their abilities in the ring and their characters the road dog discussed this on his oh you didn't know podcast saying he's an entertaining dude and he's got some character him and Otis they're fun I feel the same way about them as I do about Dolph. When they come out, I know I'm going to be entertained with a great wrestling match. Otis is going to make some faces that are going to make me laugh. He's going to blow up and fall down on somebody. It's fun to watch those guys. The Road Dog, who is currently serving in WWE as Senior Vice President of Live Events, discussed some of the other things he likes about Gable. He's the right human being. He's the right kind of athlete. He's a role model. I can't speak the guy's praise and sing his praises from the mountaintop enough. He's just that kind of dude. Hall of Famer Kurt Angle has also praised Chad Gable and many mm -hmm. WWE fans feel he's capable of even more than he's doing now. Oh, for you sure. Do you think he should be in line for a big push? Let us know in the comments down below. Honestly, I, w I would prefer him to get a, uh, a a decent singles run. I get it. You want to have something for him to do with Otis. And I don't have a problem with Otis. Otis gives me more of a comedy act than someone that... I mean, he can go in the ring. But I, I I do feel like Otis is more of the comedy side of the thing. And obviously they got something going on with the whole shoes. Like people buying into it. You know, people want to boo him. So they have something working for themselves right now. And Gable can actually go in the ring. You know, you give him a one-on-one -on -one situation. He can put on a pretty good match. He's, he's good uh, when it comes to his in-ring uh, uh, ability. So hey, I, maybe we'll see something this year. Maybe he get... Uh, a mid-card title uh, opportunity. We'll see. Next up, Kota Ibushi is now a free agent. A New Japan Pro Wrestling sensation, Kota Ibushi is now a free agent. New Japan announced this on their website. 
As with the conclusion of his contract period on January 31st, 2023, Kota Ibushi has now departed New Japan Pro Wrestling. Ibushi had been recovering from an injury since October 2021. We apologize to Ibushi's fans for the abrupt announcement and join them in wishing Ibushi the very best in all his future mm. endeavors. The 40-year-old grappler held a trophy Damn. case worth of titles in New Japan, including the IWGP World Heavyweight Championship, Those the IWGP Heavyweight Championship, beautiful. and the IWGP Tag Team Championship, Those just to name a few. Fightful Select reports says major interest from a number of companies to sign him. Okoto will be wrestling in the US as soon as he's scheduled to make his Game Changer Wrestling debut on 30th March. Next up, a former WWE star signs with Impact Wrestling. It's good news for former superstar fan Dango and his oh. fans as he's now signed with Impact Wrestling. PW Insider reports that Curtis is working as Dirty Dango. Wrestling News noted <laughs> Dango debuted with Impact at Bound for Glory in October Dirty when he accepted Dango? Brian Myers' open challenge <laughs> for the day. Digital Media Championship. Davis also recalled that in 2020, Curtis said that he was preparing to retire. However, as fans have seen countless times, retirement is easier said than done. Dirty Next Dango. Next up, Booker T talks when he learned he was in the Royal Rumble. The Royal Rumble featured this some was surprises, a cool including surprise the return entrance. of Booker T. However, fans weren't the only ones surprised to see the two-time Hall of Famer compete, as Booker recently revealed just when he was notified he was in the Rumble. I was sitting at the table at the kickoff show and I got a text message, and it was the invite telling me, Book, you're in the Rumble. And me, and I'm old school, dog. I'm old school. I went down in a Winnebago, right? So something told me, bring your gear, alright? Wow. Make sure you're just ready so you don't have to get ready or stay ready, and boom, there it was. Wow. The text message came through and I said, okay, here we go. The master of the Spinneroonie kayfabe is That's impromptu crazy. appearance saying he thinks he would have done better if he had time to warm up and prepare for the match. Oh, for sure. Regardless, fans were happy to see King Booker. Next That's up, crazy. He's doing the kickoff show and he's like, hey, yo, you're in the Rumble. He didn't even know, but he just so happened to have his gear with him. That's... That's cool. And that was a cool moment just to see that, to be honest with you. That was a pretty dope moment. A Hall of Famer produced the Pitch Black match. The Fightful Select is reporting on who produced the Mountain Dew Pitch Black match at featuring Bray Wyatt and LA Knight. The Patreon site reports that Impact Hall of Famer Abyss laid out the match. Christopher Park worked plenty of wild hardcore matches during his career as Abyss, so he seemed like a good choice. According to Fight, there were even rumors Park might appear in the Rumble. And finally, uh, Cody Rhodes is a long lost sister. Uh, that match is just. <laughs> The idea, it looked cool, but one thing I guess you can kind of say, anytime a match is sponsored by somebody, you can tell it's it's not going to be what you think it is because, one, they're sponsoring it. So they can't go all out because they're being sponsored by someone. So it looked cool. It's just the execution, in my opinion, didn't live up to the months of buildup. That's just my personal opinion. It wasn't awful, but... Is this something that you're going to go back to the Royal Rumble and watch? Most of us not, so. Uh, last but not least, does Cody Rhodes have a long-lost sister? Uh, no, Rhodes he doesn't. Rhodes had to clear the air during a recent appearance <laughs> on this Impulsive with Logan Paul's <laughs> YouTube show. As one of Logan's co-hosts, I asked Cody if former adult film star Lana Rhodes is his sister. Well, the look on Cody's face when he was asked this was, was just hilarious. absolutely no. priceless. But there you have it, folks. Hold the on. wildest news stories and rumors you they... asked this was just... Star Lana Rhodes is they, they kind of resemble each other like in the eyes. That's about it. But it's just fact. It's funny that <laughs> he was like, uh, he was like the porn star. I didn't know we was related. Adult film star Lana Rhodes is his sister. <laughs> that was funny, the look on bro. Cody's face when he was that was this, funny. It was just absolutely priceless. That was hilarious. Well, bro. It, folks. The porn star. You sure about that? That was hilarious, man. But hey. This was a, a pretty dope video. Let me know down below. Do you guys think uh, the Guerrero family should be upset with Dominic's, you know, portrayal uh, of him, you know, mocking Eddie or idol? Well, I wouldn't say idolizing, but more so like kind of mocking Eddie or embracing Eddie. Do y'all think that should be a problem, or do y'all think it's 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 more along with his heel character and it makes everything even? It makes him become even a bigger heel because we know he's mocking Eddie and doing the little the little shimmy and the three amigos and all this other stuff. It, he knows it's going to get some real good heel heat. Let me know uh, how y'all feel about that down below. But I appreciate all the love and support you guys are showing on our channel. Road to 150K and I am still the undisputed YouTube wrestling champ of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking it with me. See you on the next one. Peace.